inside a publicly owned building of any kind without the express permission of the authorities in charge, except for rest areas. Rest areas are publicly owned, but that is automatic permission. You don't have to pull up, all right, if you're at a visitor center and go in and ask for permission, you don't have to pull up and call, you know, Department of Transportation or anything like that. Rest areas is automatic per permission. What's up everybody? Chris with South Carolina Gun School. And as you can see here behind me, we're gonna talk about places you must get permission to carry into. Before anybody gets started, like I talked about in the vehicle video, it's a legal system, not a justice or a constitutional system. Okay, so I'm telling you what the legal system says. What you do is on you and what you have to approve in court. Remember, you've got to get permission to carry. So that doesn't mean go in with your gun on and get that permission because this is where you're gonna get in trouble. This is gonna fall under improper care if you have not gotten permission. Now, this is what kind of shocks people. Yes, you can get permission in the schools, but now look, as I've got it highlighted here, that's in the building or on the property. So what I mean here is if that school's name or the school district's name is on the property, you've got to get permission. So what I'm talking about is right up the road from where I live is a local high school. Their track is always open to the public, but I can't go up there and walk around that track and carry my gun because I have to have permission because they own that property. All right, I wanna make that clear. If their name is on the property, you have to get permission. Now again, before all you keyboard warriors start in talking about, oh, violation take a minute, duh. Telling you what the legal system says. What you do is on you. It's not a constitutional system, it is a legal system. So any private or public, doesn't matter. College, university, technical college, post-secondary institution, doesn't matter. If it's a school, you have to get permission. Now I'll go ahead and be honest with you, I've asked it some places, they ain't gave it to me yet but you have that right to go in and ask for permission. Now, some other things about the school real quick. You can have it in your vehicle in one of the spots that I talked about in that video, but just a quick recap, close glove box, close console, luggage compartment, or under the driver's seat in a container with the integral fastener once you've gotten your permit. Okay, so you can have it in one of those spots in your vehicle on school property. But if you're gonna get out of that vehicle with it on, you have to go in and get permission first. Now, I don't really like the wording on this, but this is the way that it's worded. You can carry into a school or college event related to firearms. That does not mean it's a drill team, pellet, or BB. They have to be shooting live ammunition, meaning 22 caliber or higher. So for some of the ones around me, we've got Clemson University right up the road. They have, if I'm not mistaken, a rifle and a shotgun team, but I know they have some shooting teams. If you have your permit and you're going to that event, that's automatic permission. But if you wanna leave that event and go to another event on campus or somewhere else on campus, you have to leave it in your vehicle or you've gotta get permission. Now, people have always asked, where do I go? I would, I would say start with the dean of the school. Now, if you work for the school, start with your immediate supervisor, which is more than likely going to be the principal or the superintendent. You know, it's, it's you kind of have to work your way up the chain of command, see what people say. But I would start with the dean of the school. He might have somebody that he would turn you over to, but that's kind of where I would start with this stuff. When I've asked at the school, I just asked the lady at the front desk. She went and got the resource officer. Resource officer came in, talked to me, told me no. So you've got that option. Now, here's the catch with the schools. And again, before anybody starts in, it's a legal system, not a constitutional system. So until you get your permit, until you get your carry permit, you cannot have it on school property anywhere in your vehicle. 
cannot have it on school. A non-CWP holder cannot bring a firearm onto any school properties anywhere. Can't go get permission to even have it in your vehicle on school property. I'm only telling you what the legal system says. So again, with your permit, glove box, console, luggage compartment or under the driver's seat in some type of container. Glove box or console does not have to be in a container. Luggage compartment or under the driver's seat has to be in a container with an integral fastener, latch, snap or zip shut. If you wanna learn more about that, go check out my video where I talk about where you can have it in your vehicle. I go a little bit more in depth, but I'm trying to stick to the permission things here. Next, inside a publicly owned building of any kind without the express permission of the authorities in charge, except for rest areas. Rest areas are publicly owned, but that is automatic permission. You don't have to pull up, all right, if you're at a visitor center and go in and ask for permission, you don't have to pull up and call, you know, Department of Transportation or anything like that. Rest areas is automatic per permission. But anything else is publicly owned so here's what i want you to think about does someone's tax money fund this building that is what they're talking about here does someone's tax money fund this building that means it's publicly owned okay the reason i say someone is if i'm down in charleston and i lose my driver's license and i go into the dmv down there my tax money from up here in the upstate is not going to be funding that down there but People that live in Charleston, their tax money will. So does someone's tax money fund this building? Okay, that means it's publicly owned. You've got to get permission. Next, for my medical employees. Now, people get confused with this wording, thinking, okay, I have to be a medical employee to be able to get permission to carry in a DHEC certified clinic. Okay, that does not mean you've got to be a nurse, doctor, radiology tech, or anything like that. What this is saying here is if that DHEC certified clinic signs your paycheck, whether you're IT, maintenance, janitorial, HR, uh, patient relations, or anything like that, they, you have the right to get permission. But if you have to go back in as a patient, that permission is paused when you are a patient. You only have the permission if they give it to you when you are working as an employee. Okay? Everybody understand that? If you got questions, message me. I'll be glad to help you out. Next, churches. You just got to get permission. Now, some churches, especially where I'm at, they rent out school auditoriums. They'll rent out school gymnasiums, and they'll have their service inside the school. During that time, it is a church. You only have to get permission from the church. But that church permission only applies during church hours. You can't take church permission because it was in your child's school and walk into your child's school with your gun on. That is two separate permissions you've got to have. School permission doesn't apply to church hours. Church permission doesn't apply to school hours. Make sure you understand if you don't reach out to me but if your church uses a school for their service it is a church at that time you only get permission from the church anything else you have to get permission from the school if it's during school hours or you're going there for a school event here's the catch on all of these written and signed permission. Do not just take verbal permission because if they feel they're gonna be held liable if something happens and they can go, I never gave him permission. I don't know what they're talking about. It's gonna turn into your word against theirs. If you think that won't happen, test your luck because I'm not testing my luck like that. But these are places where you have to get permission. It's written and signed. That doesn't mean it's got to be on a letterhead document looking all official. It can be post-it note, index card, blank copy paper, notebook paper. I don't care if you've got an old business card or your wallet or purse with a blank spot on the back of it. I, Chris Lyles, give Fred Watts permission to carry in this building and then I sign it. If it's something where the school, the church, or any one of these places type it up and email it to you, if they didn't do an electronic signature, then you print that up, go back in there to whoever gave you the permission or type that up, and you make sure they sign it. It is written and signed. Not written, 
not verbal, but written and signed. It's got to be both. Do not take your chances if it's not. And again, for you keyboard warriors, whatever you want to do, I'm telling you what the legal system says. These are places where you have to get permission. Another quick note on this. These are also places that don't have to have signs, and they can have the wrong signs up. If you're sitting there going, well, what's he talking about? You need to go watch my video on the proper signage for a business to be properly posted here in the state of South Carolina. Yes, there is a very specific sign businesses have to have up. All right. So if you're a business and you don't want guns in there, you better go watch my video. There's a very specific sign. I'm not sitting here and going to tell you not to do that or whatever. That's your business. That's your prerogative. That's the great thing about this country. You do what you want to with your business. For y'all to sit there and say, uh, violence take me, uh, uh, that's their business. That's their choice, whatever. If you don't like it, go somewhere else. But stop, people, stop giving people a hard time. That's their choice. Because I'll tell you right now, if they've got the sign up, not going to give me permission, I ain't going there. It's that simple. Why argue with them? Forget it. Written and signed. Permission. Okay? Again, if you ever have questions, reach out to me. If I'm tied up with a class or I'm working with a client, bear with me. I will get back to you as soon as I'm free. Please make sure you follow what the legal system says or you do whatever you want to do. I'm just telling you what the legal system says. It is a legal system, not a constitutional system. Always remember, folks, if you're not shooting, you're reloading. If you're not reloading, you're fighting. If you're not fighting, you're dead. Train to live. See you on the range.